Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 7, lesson 1, hands on numerical expressions. Page number is 481. Okay, guys, today we'll start the numerical expressions. We'll talk about the numerical expressions. Okay, what are the numerical expressions? such as 8 plus 7 is a combination of numbers and at least one operation. Now guys, understand first what are operations. All of you know that plus, minus, multiply or divide. All these are what? All these are operations. Okay. So anything which have numbers like this expression have numbers and at least one operation it could be more okay there is one so it means it is a numerical expression there could be more like this 8 plus 7 minus 1 right so there could be more okay now what we will do in this lesson we will read the example the questions and then through the bar diagram we will create the numerical expressions. Let me clear the screen. Okay, here. In the first example, they're saying, Gregory and his family went hiking over the weekend. On Saturday, they hiked five miles. And on Sunday, they hiked five miles. Use the bar diagram. This is for Saturday, five miles. This is for Sunday, five miles. And we all know that if they ask us the total miles, it is 10. 5 plus 5 tenths, right? Now, what they want us, where to use the bar diagram? Use the bar diagram to write and evaluate two numerical expressions, guys. Two. So we will think that in how many ways we can write this information on Saturday 5 miles, on Sunday 5 miles, as a numerical expression. So you know that we can write it in two ways like this the first one 5 plus 5 this is a numerical expression right it have a numbers and operation okay and the second thing what we can do we have two fives so we can write it like this 2 times 5 that is also equals to 10 okay guys don't make mistake of writing 5 times 5 it is 25 okay so two fives 2 times 5 so in these two ways we can write it here they are showing you the first way addition expression 5 plus 5 10 the second way multiplication expression 2 times 5 10 I hope you understand let's move to the next page next example here Mrs. Yearling has two groups uh, this extra four I draw for this last question here. Okay, I will show you at the end. I will erase it now. Okay, forget this now. Stay to keep it here, but forget it now. Okay, don't uh, consider this one now. We will use this four for the last question here. Okay. Now, Mrs. Yelling has two groups of five students and two groups of four students. Two groups of five, one, two, and two groups of four, one and two. Okay, so again, we can use the first way like this. We add all of them, five plus five plus four plus four equals 18. The second way we can use like, like multiplication also. So we can solve an addition way, the first one, simply addition, and then the second way in multiplication way, like two fives, so two times five, and two fours, so two times four. Okay, two times five, 10, two times four, eight, 10 plus eight, 18. In both ways, we get the same answer. Okay. Evaluate the addition expression to find the sum. See guys, in both of them, if you add them, you will get the same answer. The answer is 24. 
what they did they just changed the order so if you change the order the answer will not change no the order in which the expression is written does not change the total number if you remember in addition we have commutative property we can switch the numbers right okay now this one they are saying suppose miss yelling also had another group of four students it means after these four another group of four students extra one so now you have two fives and three fours so you can write it in two ways the first one simple five plus five four plus four plus four simply addition add all of them okay and the second one you have two five so two times five and you have three fours so three times four okay next one independent practice uh, you have to read this one and through the bar diagram you have to write the two expressions the addition one and the multiplication one five fours simply addition and then five fours so five times four twenty okay try to solve it by yourself first and then match your answers through this video here the first addition 12 12 14 add them and the second one two twelves so 2 times 12 plus 14 38 okay this one now here the same thing again same example six five six six three sixes and one five simple addition and then three times six because three six plus five okay and how we get this bar diagram from this uh, question we make it okay now uh, which one doesn't belong because uh, there are five four five four five four and there's no three so this one it doesn't belong to this bar diagram remaining three are correct loss is 27 not 15 okay how can bar diagram be used to model numerical expressions the number of times each number in the expression is used can be shown in the bar diagram I hope you guys understand the lesson and if you really understand don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr. Saad and guys also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you so much have a nice day